everybody, welcome back to Beasting with Beast Radamus. Today, Battlefield 3, back to Carcan DLC review. Uh, I was I was very happy to wake up this morning and realize that I have some free DLC to play. For those of you who don't know, those people living under a rock, uh, the DLC is free for those who purchased the limited edition, basically bought it at launch. Uh, anyone else who did not purchase it at launch, you have to pay $15. Now, I'm happy to report that since this is free for many of us, uh, it's not a letdown. And if you actually had to pay $15 for it, I'll let you know right now, it's absolutely worth it. 100%. Um, it doesn't do anything drastically you know, different to the Battlefield gameplay or anything, but it it's a solid map pack. And these four maps that are contained in it are probably the best maps in the entire game, in my opinion. Now, some could take that as a knock against Battlefield 3's normal base maps that you get with the game, but it's not really. I mean, these should be the best maps in the game, considering they are the most all-time popular Battlefield maps. I'm also happy to report that there are ten new weapons to unlock in the DLC, and you can take those guns from the DLC into the normal battlefield maps so that is that's a nice little bonus there for people that were feeding more guns if you hadn't already unlocked the freaking hundreds I don't know how many are in the normal game to be honest it, it's a lot and if you've already unlocked all the guns and the customizations and stuff you need to ask yourself what you are doing with your life because there's no way that anybody should have everything unlocked by now so that. Bonus for those that want it. Um, bonus for everybody. What am I saying? So I wanted to get in a little bit to the the maps themselves. Um, these maps, most of them, with the exception of the island one, the U Island, um, they have a much more urban warfare feel to them than anything in Battlefield 3. Now you could you could say Serene Crossing had an urban warfare feel to it. A couple other ones in the normal maps, but these ones by and far are so much better at giving you that that claustrophobic gritty urban warfare feel like you know black hawk down style just it, it's chaos um so much destructibility in all the maps it's it's insane you can pretty much especially on the the really urban maps you you can level the entire city basically um some would argue that is a bad thing but, but I say that's a good thing. I say the more shit that you can blow up, the better. We need more shit to blow up. So moving on from how shit blows up and, you know, how, how it feels gritty and all that, the actual flow of each map is spectacular. It's, it's better than sex with a woman. Not really. Um, well, it depends on the woman, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, but, but anyways, ignore that last point. The flow of the maps. It flows amazingly, okay? I haven't had one game where I didn't feel like I was constantly, you know, on edge, on the lookout for somebody coming my way when I'm trying to plant a bomb. Um, and that's something that I think some of the maps in Battlefield 3 lacked, is that they're so large that um, sometimes they can almost feel empty if you if you get in certain games. I don't, I don't know really how to describe it. Those of you who have played it, you might understand what I am saying. But with these maps, they're big, but they're not so big to where you're not constantly seeing enemy. Um, and, and that is the key to why these maps are so good, is because you constantly, if you're the team that is trying to plant the bombs on Rush, uh, you constantly are feeling the presence of enemy forces. Okay, You have to work as a team to uh, really get ahead on these maps. And if you're on defense, well, you you constantly feel under assault, and that is that is awesome. I, I love that feeling because you're sitting there trying to guard the objective, and you don't feel like you're camping anymore because you're not camping. You're actually defending that objective, and there are people coming at you nonstop. So the flow of these maps, I think, is probably the biggest draw to me as, as far as how good they are. Um, there's some unique vehicles to each map, a uh, new plane. Uh, some other stuff. I, you know, I haven't even seen all there is to offer, to be honest. But it basically, it's Battlefield 3, just like normal, but with you know four awesome new maps. So I would encourage anybody 
that hasn't downloaded it yet, download it. Even if you have to pay for it, because it's worth it. It's worth 15 bucks. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, why would I pay $15 for a DLC, you know, and the game just came out a month ago. Because they're good maps. No, right, I take that back. They're great maps. That is why you should pay for it if you have to. Because they are great maps, and if you do not have them, and you own the game, you're cheating yourself out of a great experience. So, what would I give this game? I would give it five out of five bulls. That is my rating. Yes, bulls of marijuana. Later, bitches.